Florida researchers are tracking a dangerous new pest in Florida, the giant African land snail. Packs a triple threat against homes and homeowners. As our Allison Morrow shows us, there's really only one good way to stop them. On the side of streets across Tampa Bay, white traps nestle in the trees. I'm just going to get the hook up in here. And one of the men who checks them isn't just looking for the fruit flies they kill. We'd be looking for slime trails. Especially on a nice sunny day like this, they would glisten. Howard Wallace wears a Florida plant. Department of Agriculture ID with a reminder, a picture of a large snail next to a ruler. We need your help to look for and report this unwanted invader. In just over a year, trappers caught more than 114,000 giant African land snails in southern Florida. Thanks to reports from neighbors, the only way to keep the snail from migrating north. Thank you for your cooperation. They reproduce quickly and eat almost anything, including stucco right off the side of homes. The snails are so bad in Nigeria that they actually flatten tires on cars, on the roads, the shells. They're so tough. Its shell alone can grow to half a foot wide. Their behavior and their capacity to sort of take advantages of situations that other native species can't do. The snail's now the focus of an eradication effort to keep it from taking over Florida, carrying with it rat lungworm, a parasite that transmits meningitis to humans. Kids just happen to be playing in the wrong place at the wrong time, picking up a snail, not really knowing what the risk is. Not only a health hazard, also the number one reason it spreads. A lesson Florida learned in the 1960s when it spent a million dollars fighting the snail after a young boy brought one home from Hawaii. In Tampa, Allison Morrow, ABC Action News.